Hello. I am Christine Pavars Ramirez, and for the past five years I am with IFLA, where I take care of a library map of the world. The library map has a component of stories, SDG stories about library programs uh, contributing to sustainable development goals. And I'm here to share a little bit about our work and our approach to digital storytelling. At IFLA, we believe that every librarian is an advocate, and IFLA uh, has been involved in advocacy around sustainable development uh, since the beginnings of the uh, UN 2030 Agenda. And over the years, we created a wide network of library advocates from around the world, uh, people who are advocating for the role of libraries in sustainable development in their countries and regionally. And, uh, and at some point when we asked uh, uh, these people to share examples of library programs, projects, activities and services that contribute, uh, we received hundreds uh, of examples uh, that supported uh, our, our belief that libraries are contributing across the board, across all 17 SDGs. So we understood that uh, we need to somehow find a way uh, how we can highlight these examples and communicate them to, to our stakeholders. So that was the beginning of uh, uh, SDG stories on the library map. And here is a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, something that she said uh, 50 years ago. Uh, and, and she was talking about universal rights, uh, such as uh, equal opportunities and non-discrimination. Uh, rights that uh, lie in the background of uh, UN 2030 agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. And she said, uh, I quote, uh, Where, after all, do universal rights begin? In small places, close to home, so close and so small that they cannot be seen on any maps of the world. End of quote. Here is to say that stories on the map, uh, they are not stories about libraries and library programs. They are stories about people and about communities. And uh, just 50 years ago, 50 years after uh, Eleanor said uh, these words, uh, we are trying to do exactly that. Uh, to put uh, stories about the meaning that libraries are bringing uh, to these people's uh, lives on the map. But uh, how do you do that? So another thing to mention is that the main audience uh, for uh, the library map uh, is not the librarians. The main audience is our stakeholders. And when it comes to SDG stories, uh, the stakeholders uh, who are engaged uh, in sustainable development. And uh, there will be a difference in how you would tell a story about uh, your library program to a fellow colleague uh, to one uh, that uh, you would tell to your stakeholder. And the problem, I think, is that for years we are bombarding our stakeholders with uh, information such as uh, use statistics uh, uh, about li our libraries, uh, how many users, how many visitations, how many something, uh, or how effective we are in... Uh, in uh, using uh, resources and funding to create uh, offer to our communities. We have learned to do more with less. Or maybe we are talking about how satisfied uh, our users are uh, with what we offer to them. But it is not enough. And why it is not enough is because our stakeholders, they do live in a different world. They live in a world of making a difference. They are thinking about what is the value that, that we are bringing uh, to improving the situation in, in the community. So what is the impact that, that uh, we are bringing to the community and to people's lives? Uh, so so we are, as, as librarians, we are very good at talking about li our libraries, but how do we learn to tell a better story about the difference that we are making, how to learn to tell uh, an impactful story, uh, and how to change our mindset. So these were all the questions on, on our table while we were working on um, uh, creating this uh, storytelling manual. 
uh, a manual called Libraries and the Sustainable Development uh, Goals. Uh, so the manual have, uh, has uh, four chapters, uh, and the first is, uh, is a chapter on what story to tell. It's a compilation of examples of uh, library programs, uh, projects, services, activities uh, uh, that can contribute to each of the 17 uh, SDG goals, and it will give you a, a, a good idea of what is possible elsewhere. So the, the second is how to tell your story and is the most important chapter of um, all of the manual. And I will be talking a little bit more about uh, the framework that we use, which we call compelling evidence-based uh, storytelling. A lot of it is about uh, use of data and evidence to, for, to support uh, different arguments that we are, that we are making. Uh, there are two other things that are important um, chapters in, in this manual when it comes to digital storytelling. Uh, and it is about how to tell your story visually, how to use images and uh, videos. And another one is uh, how to deal with copyright and permissions when we want to, to publish uh, these visual elements uh, online. So the storytelling manual is... Uh, is a practical guide with lots of links and uh, to external resources and additional information. Uh, and it is uh, just 30 pages long, but uh, at some point we understood that even these 30 pages are uh, or can be too much uh, for someone who wants to learn quickly uh, how to tell a better story, how to tell a compelling story, uh, and if they are ready to submit their story to the library map. And that is when we created, uh, we turned the, the most important part uh, of the chapter of the manual on how to tell a story into, uh, into a one-page infographic, um, a storytelling flowchart. And by answering, to, by answering yes or no to the questions that are asked on the, on the flowchart, uh, one should have a better, a better idea uh, if they have all the information to back up uh, all the three parts of um, of the story that we are looking for, and if they are ready to submit uh, the, the story to the library map. So, but let me tell you a little bit more about uh, the framework and our approach. And uh, it is that we believe that every story uh, must answer three questions. And the first is to talk about why. Why something was done, why it was needed, uh, what is the development need uh, in the background. It is all about talking about community, the target group, and what the needs are. Uh, this is an important part of the SDG story, because this is where we make a link to relevant um, SDGs and uh, what the development uh, need is. And it should not be difficult to talk about this uh, you should just need to imagine that you are telling this story to someone who have no idea about your place, about your people and what is important, and so that they can picture themselves in the, in the situation and understand the local contexts and, and how the library might be helping uh, in the situation. So the second is then to talk about what, what has been done to help, uh, how it was done, who was involved, uh, to describe partnerships, if there were any, uh, and when it was done. And this is where you would include some performance statistics uh, to just describe the scale uh, of your project. Is it for a small group of people? Does it cover the whole community, all country? And uh, just so that we understand the scale. Uh, this is uh, the part where we as librarians, we feel the most comfortable in talking about things, uh, but this uh, needs to be the shortest part uh, of the story. And finally, uh, the third and the most important part uh, of every story uh, is to talk about the impact. It is to talk about the change uh, to, to lives, change to communities, it is to talk about what difference did we make what happened in the community uh, after uh, people participated or after people used uh, services. And uh, this is again important uh, for SDG stories because that this is the part where we again make link back 
to the problem and to the development need and tie it uh, to to sustainable to, to relevant uh, sustainable development goals. So if the ideas and principles that I just explained, they can be applied to any type of storytelling and uh, any type of advocacy. Uh, but when it comes to, to storytelling for sustainable development goals or the SDGs, there is one very specific thing. Uh, well, for any story, you need to adapt the story to your audience. But when it comes to SDGs, you need to adapt the story to this very specific audience, uh, to stakeholders, policy makers, decision makers who work in all of the different areas covered by sustainable development goals. So we want to make sure that we use the language that uh, our stakeholders are used to and, uh, and that they understand uh, us, us in that uh, context. But uh, how do you do that? So, and here is again uh, another thing that I want to share is that uh, another one-page infographic uh, that IPLA created and can be a useful resource for librarians. Uh, it's an infographic called Why Access Matters Across the SDGs. And uh, what it is all about, it is um, listing uh, almost all relevant uh, to libraries uh, SDGs uh, and highlighting uh, those uh, keywords in each of those SDGs uh, that we want to make sure appear also in our stories. So it means that we need to look beyond the goals and, and look into targets uh, which mention things uh, like uh, access to information and knowledge, uh, access, equal access to skills, access to technology, internet, access to cultural heritage, uh, uh, information about sustainable lifestyles uh, and many more, uh, many more that uh, uh, that you can think of. So I told you a little bit about why we did what we did uh, at IFLA, uh, how we did it, uh, what resources are available out there, and what framework we're using. But uh, so what? So the, the SDG and working on those SDG stories has been and, and continue to be quite a journey for everybody involved. And it is, uh, it is that every story is a learning experience. And it's not only for us, uh, a library map team, it is for every contributor, every librarian who submit information um, for uh, a story for, uh, for the library map. And it is learning... Uh, uh, about how to apply uh, the SDGs framework uh, for, for those stories. But most importantly, it is a learning experience on, on how to deal with impact, how to define meaningful outcome targets, and how to measure impact uh, of those uh, library programs in our daily life. And at the end of the day, every story is an advocacy opportunity. So we are very happy to hear about cases when someone was able to get extra funding uh, to continue the program described in the story, or that, this, that, that basically every story is an opportunity to make a stronger case, uh, to, to really build the recognition uh, and to, to receive the support. So, and I want to finish by just inviting you to check it out yourself. Uh, today, we have almost 50 stories um, uh, online on the map. Uh, and, and all the 17 SDGs are covered. Uh, all of them have information inside about the impact uh, that they made uh, on their users' lives and in their communities. But I also want to mention another resource that is... Uh, available. Uh, we have a special YouTube playlist uh, containing um, short one minute long videos featuring those stories uh, uh, from the library map and all of them are with open licenses and we will be happy if you use and reuse for your own advocacy. Thank you so much. Uh, let's keep in touch and uh, let's impact.